Right, so we have uh, this particular equation to prove that e to the power i pi equals uh, minus one, and this is due to Euler, and it is called Euler's identity. And we proceed to prove Euler's identity. But to prove Euler's identity, we present a solution, and the solution um, is as follows. Right, so. But now, as we present a solution to something we call Euler, Euler's formula, what is Euler's formula? Right, E to the I theta is actually the same as cosine theta plus I times the sine of what? Of theta. This is called Euler's formula. And now, if this is called Euler's formula, hence, it then follows that e to the i pi is actually equal to cosine pi plus i sine pi. Okay? Sine pi. So here we put a pi here. Okay, like so. And uh, now this is e to the i pi. Right, so cosine pi is minus one and the sine of pi is zero. And uh, minus one plus i pi zero is zero and therefore minus one plus zero is minus one. Um, thus, Right, thus uh, e to the i pi is equal to minus one. Right, and uh, this equation can also be written as uh, e to the i pi plus one equals zero. And credit is given to Euler. Therefore, right, Therefore, Euler's identity is given by is given by e to the i pi equals uh, minus one, and this is uh, true if and only if e to the i pi plus one equals zero, like so. Like so. So now this is what we have. And uh, if this is the case, right, it is uh, what we're supposed to prove. And uh, we therefore um, celebrate this result. And um, this result here is a result after a mathematician was called Euler, who actually was able to, to prove this result. Okay, and uh, we have uh, proven right now this result. And uh, most certainly this concludes uh, the proof of the result. And thanks a lot for joining us and goodbye to you.